Hello, and welcome to Searching for Templars. And they're often referred to as the Knights Templars. And over the past 30 years or so, the uh, Templars have enjoyed a renaissance in mainstream media. And there is a lot of buffoonery out there about the Templars, but I used uh, the situation there as part of my Shamu, Harry, and the Killer Whales concerning the Templars and some of the myths created around them. And I, d I felt like it was necessary for me to dive into the oldest resources available now, or in the last couple of hundred years, and to see what actually does exist and what we do have concerning the Templars. And I'm always accused of working backwards. Hubbard is always working backwards. And after you see this video, you'll see exactly why I'm accused of that. We're going to start with the Catholic Encyclopedia printed in 1967. From there, we're going to jump to Britannica of 1929. And then I'm going to go back into the late 1700s. I'm not going to go into this book here, <clears throat> this set here, the American Encyclopedia from 1878. Even though it has a section, it's got four columns on the Templars, there's nothing that is that uh, different than in either modern sources or with the Catholic Encyclopedia. And I didn't want to have to show so many scans of it. It doesn't mention very uh, any of the numbers concerning the Templars. Now, numbers are mentioned here and here, and a lot of times the numbers don't they don't match. They 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 don't fit. And the dates between these three sources are somewhat variable. And the reason for that could possibly be because in the late 1500s, uh, the Roman calendar was done away with, and we were brought into vogue the uh, the Gregorian calendar. And basically, uh, they uh, they took away what 13 days. I believe this was what at uh, 1582. And a lot of the writers concerning things that happened in medieval times, as, as much for a quest of accuracy that they have, is that some writers will use the Gregorian date and others will use the Roman date. So even though they appear in books to be this, a different date, if you count them and they're only 13 days off, then the chances are 13, 14 days off, then one guy has written it in one way, and the other, it's not like you're trying to find out which one of them was right and which one of them was wrong. They're both right, but they both use different dates. Now, when I uh, uh, make a presentation, such as in Shamu, Harry, and the Killer Whales, where I touched on the Templars, I did a, uh, a, a brief synopsis of my feelings on, on what the people were doing with the uh, Templars, uh, somewhere around the middle of the uh, uh, of the presentation, and I left it at that. And if I don't get something perfect, I want to call myself on it. I'm I am my worst critic, and if there's something that I find out later that I have not included that should have been included, or something I had forgotten about, or or, or I just found it. If I found it somewhere, I just couldn't find it, and needed that reference, then I will use that reference or I'll call myself on it and it appears that to me that one of the references I had used could possibly have been secondhand information. Now secondhand information isn't going to bother a lot of people. Most people aren't going to care a flip about secondhand information but me I, I have to be concerned about this. But this is uh, the Catholic Encyclopedia. Eight volumes here, eight volumes here, 1967, we're going to go 67 to 1929 to the late 1700s, and then we're going to jump back here because the trump card is in here. But we've got to show this one, then this one, then this one, and then back to that one. So let's get with it and start off showing the Catholic Encyclopedia and I'm going to text it up. I've scanned it for you. You can pause it later to read what it says 
and I'm, I'm not going to spend that much time on it. I, I did not scan everything here for sure, but I did scan everything in this book. But I didn't bother with scanning. I, I scanned what I wanted to out of this. And the first opening lines, a couple of paragraphs, in, in, in any, really any of them, are pretty much the same. You know, I, like, did these, did these guys know each other? With in, no more references than any of them had? Bear with me, and I hope you have fun with this. Thank you. We're now going to jump right into the New Catholic Encyclopedia, printed in 1967. Volume 13. Now many may wonder why you start now a, uh, a presentation on the Templars with the Catholic Encyclopedia. It's because these people don't realize that the Templars were sanctioned and created by the Catholic Church. So there's a connection there. If anybody's going to know about the Templars, it's got to be the Catholics, wouldn't you think? And I'm going to show you all of the information that is in the Catholic Encyclopedia. Every column, I'm just going to flash it up here and scroll down. It all begins on page 992 of the Catholic Encyclopedia, volume 13. And I'm just going to scroll it down. You can read this later. You can pause it. I'm just going to scroll down slowly until I get to the point where I want to show you at the end. So you can pause it later. But this information is important for anyone doing research concerning Templars. And someone might wonder, well, why, Harry, didn't you put uh, the Encyclopedia Judaica uh, concerning the Templars? And it's a funny thing. I've always been uh, astonished why the Catholic, uh, excuse me, the Encyclopedia Judaica doesn't have a section concerning the Templars. This is on one column. This is going to pick up here. Next, so you can pause this and read the whole thing if you're interested. I'm going to just cruise right through it. Going down slowly. And I'm not trying to offend anyone with this video. I'm not trying my, uh, to make anyone look bad. I'm just trying to educate people. Next, and here we're picking, we're picking up on page 993, and here's a line that I've uh, been preaching for years. Teutonic Knights retired to the Baltic provinces of the Empire to give their full attention to the heathen Slavs. And I've been saying that, I've been trying to tell people that and, and, and educate them, but that's okay. People can believe what they want. Believe what you want, just don't preach it as fact. Let's slowly scroll down. And here's a little part here about uh, 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 the secrecy of their rituals, and especially the initiation process. And then there were a couple of guys that uh, were kicked out of the Templars for some reason, and they made the, the initiation rites public. They told everybody what it was. And, and, and it goes here, and naturally, uh, the Templars of course denied them. Of course they're going to. Of course they're going to. And here's a number popping up. 2000. And that, the numbers between these books are like all over the place. They don't, they don't match. And someone could do an expose on that. A video documentary if you wanted to. Just gather up all the numbers you can find concerning the Templars and and, and go from there. You have a, a decent video. I'd like to watch it. And here we have Aragon mentioned here. And that's going to be important here in a little bit for what they found there or what they supposedly found there. And here we have the date come up. March 22nd. 1312. There's a lot of discrepancies in these dates, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to pull down here, and this is the last page before we get to what I want to show you. And here it is. And this is on page 994. 
and I like this. The spectacular end of the Templars was and remains one of the most deba debated events of history. And this is in the Catholic Encyclopedia. I must agree. But let's scroll down some more. This is the last of it. Coming up here. The bibliography. And people who follow my work, you know I like the bibliographies. Here's uh, Finky, and he was like supposed to have the best information. He, he was writing from the uh, Aragonese text of the archives in 1907, Munster. Uh, we're looking at these dates, 1913 to 22, 1911, 1923, 59, 63, 63, 1963, Paris, Les Templiers. The Knights Templars in England, Tucson, 1963. Now, I wonder how thick that book was. I'll bet you that book was over an inch thick. But where are these guys getting their sources? If the Catholic Encyclopedia is, is uh, claiming this, and that they're getting all this information in these years, well, where's the old data? If the Catholic, do you, do you see anything in here out of the Vatican? No. We see anything in here super old? No. Now we're going to take a look at the Encyclopedia Britannica, 14th edition, printed in 1929, volume 21. And Templars begin on page 920. Let's take a look at the, uh, the beginning of the subject line there. I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to let you look at it. You can pause it. And I'm not going to put those, uh, let's see, what, eight, se seven or eight columns in the uh, uh, the Britannica, which means there's twice as, almost twice as much in the Britannica as there is uh, concerning the Templars uh, uh, as there is in the uh, Catholic Encyclopedia. That's on page 920. And this comes from page 923. Very interesting sentence here. It's talking about 6th of May 1312. Now this 6th of May, that can be the 20th, the 22nd, 24th, 25th, 26th. That date right there is ambiguous. It goes all over the place. But basically, May of 1312, with this, a silence falls over the history of the Templars. Okay? With this, a silence falls over the history of the Templars. And that's in 1312. Next, this comes from page, this is an excerpt coming from page 924. Same volume number 21, 1929, Encyclopedia Judaica. What I'm going to look at here is, uh, um, is Hammer's main conclusions, as unproved, argued for the existence of a secret doctrine based not on Gnosticism, but on the, now check this out, but on the monotheism of Islam, of which Baphomet, Muhammad, was a symbol. The monotheism of Islam, of which Baphomet, Muhammad, okay, Muhammad, Baphomet, of which it's the same monotheistic deity of Islam. Well, what gets me is the, Bapha, uh, the Baphomets, or Baphomets, however it's pronounced here in America with the people that worship that, they have no idea. These devil worshipers here in America today, they have no idea that the deity that they are uh, worshiping is actually Muhammad. And the Mohammedans, uh, uh, the Islamists, they don't have any idea that this is the guy they're worshiping. And it kind of you know, goes back and forth there. I just say, if you're going to be a devil worshiper, you should at least know his name and know what God he represents. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now we're going backwards again. You know I love to work backwards. Encyclopedia Botanica, and this is the first edition Encyclopedia Botanica. Scroll down here on the title page of Volume 3, printed in Edinburgh. Right here we have it, 1771. Now, many people may try to 
destroy or crush or call question to my resources. But let's see any of you guys find a reference to the Templars printed in 1771. You're not going to do it. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. I'm hard to outmaneuver. Now we're going to look at uh, what is written about the Templars. Picks up on page 891. Well, here it is. It's a double column print. Uh, it means four columns uh, per page open. Templars right there. And look at right here. From here to here. That's all that's printed up to 1771 that the editors of the Encyclopedia Britannica had to extrapolate from. That's it. That's it. So look, I'm going to blow this up so that you can read it. Go up to the top. I'm going to scroll down. Slowly, you can pause it if you want to. That's what I do. If there's something I want to read on the YouTube, I just pause it. And here we hear you see a little bit more confusion concerning the dates. Here. But that's it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Now, we're going to jump back to the 1929 Britannica 14th edition. Volume 21, page 924. And we're going to read it here. This guy, Gertler, published History of the Templars from Amsterdam in 1691. Second edition was in 1703. Well, 1691, that's a fair piece down the road from 1312, isn't it? From 1312 to uh, 1690, that's, that's what? 380 years, 375 years or so, and there was nothing before then? Hmm, I wonder how thick that book was. He said that the Templars had the usual vices of the Roman Catholics, while according to Louis Lieu, the later editors of Dupuy, who was uh, one of the um, Templars, were Freemasons who under false names garbled the old material and inserted new in the interests of the supposed origin of their own order in that of the Templars. Well, there you have it. The later editors of Dupuy were Freemasons who under false names garbled the old material and inserted new in the interest of the supposed origin of their own order and that of the Templars. Now I've already shown in some of my previous presentations where these same people have been manipulating history for quite some time. So what do we have here? We can safely say that Freemasonry is a farce. The origins of Freemason for Freemasonry is a farce. This is a farce created to dupe ignorant people who can't think for themselves into becoming Freemasons. Into, into th and Freemasons actually believe their stuff is old. Oh, it's ancient. It's ancient. You don't know what you're talking about. Said, well, prove it. You're not going to do it with any of the Freemasonry information. I'll guarantee you that. There's no encyclopedia set of Freemasonry that actually gives the origin. Going back to the Templars, they just start making it up as they go. And I got one more thing to show you here. Remember Finke, Professor H. Fe, uh, uh, Professor H. Finke in 1907. He based his work on uh, a mass of new material drawn from the Aragonese archives. Oh, a mass of new material. Well, I wonder who put that new material out there. I don't think the Catholics did. There's, uh, you know, they have it here from the Vatican archives. Well, how come we don't see that in uh, in the Catholic Encyclopedia? Hmm. But these just popped up on the scene, didn't they? Popped up on the scene. What in late 1800s? 19. Well, when did the uh, uh, Aragonese archive? Just make it up as you go. Now here we go in the bibliography here. 
The original sources given by Dupuy, though often valuable, were selected and edited with a purpose. Selected and edited with a purpose. Well, I wonder what that purpose could be. Could that purpose give, be to give the Freemasons a, a, an imaginary origin to their cult, their club, their initiation? It's a farce, ladies and gentlemen. And anything you see about the Templars and what they're putting out today about the, uh, uh, the Templars, it's all a farce. Can't back it up. Make up what you want to, but don't go telling people or, or teaching it as fact. That's the bottom line. Hope you've enjoyed this. Hey, comments are open. If you can find, if you can catch me off guard now, I'm all for it. I'm free game. I'm putting this out there. Let's see what people do with it.